In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install VQ Mod on Overcard version 4. So we're going to start out by searching for VQ Mod using Google. And when the search results come up, look for releases on the GitHub website and click on it. At the time of this recording, the latest version of VQ Mod is 2.6.7 standalone and what's interesting to note is here that they no longer create an open card version of the file as the open card scripts have been moved to a separate repository what this means is we can still use the standalone file to install vqmod but we have to get the last available version of vqmod with open card support which is 2.6.6 and what we're going to do is to download both files then we're going to install version 2.6.6 and then copy the version 2.6.7 files over it so here we have the link to download version 2.6.7 we click on that you can save it to anywhere near your machine you want i'm going to save it to my desktop click save and i also need to download 2.6.6 open card. So I go to that page and then I click on the zip file, save the file on my desktop again in the same folder. Next thing to do now, we're going to unzip the files. Now both of them are going to be called vqmod because they are both the same directories. So what we're going to do, we're going to unzip version 2.6.6 first to the same folder say ok minimize and we go back to that folder here we have it the unzip files so these are the files we're going to install on our directory on our server in a vqmod directory so wherever you install your open card, this vcode mod directory is going to go in the root directory. And from there, we are going to do this installation. We can still uninstall, not uninstall, we can still unzip, sorry, version 2.6.7, nonetheless. There we go. Let's track it to that same folder. Then they should all be right there. So, scope one. And we have both of them on it here. So the next step now is to upload the files from 2.6.6 open card to our server, the root directory of the server, where we have our open card installation. And then from there now we'll see how to put 2.6.7 over that so that you'll have the latest version of open card um, vq mod open cards vq mod version okay so now that we have downloaded and unzipped the vq mod files to our local computer we need to upload the vq mod directory to our server installation where we have our open card site located so you need to use your favorite FTP program. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. So the FTP program I'm using is FileZilla. You can use any one you wish, you just don't have the classroom. But I'm using FileZilla to do that transfer. So you need to log into the site. To the site manager, log into your website. This is the site that I'm using here. These are where my the root directory where my open card installation is on my server and uh, on the local side section go to the folder where you had unzipped the open card vqmod files so what we're gonna do now we're just gonna go to vqmod 2.6.6 remember I said we have to install the open card version first and then we update the latest version using this standard but before we even do that here's something that is very important this file 
here called path.php in YouTube and directory. We need to edit it. Reason being, in OpenCAD version 4, you'll be asked to change the name of your admin directory. Once you log into your admin section, you're going to have a pop up that asks you to change the name of your admin directory to something else. Now, this line here is where you need to focus on. If you do not make this change, when you try to install BQMod, it will not work. So, it's very important to pay attention to this step. So, the file, half replaces.php, and we're going to do it for both BQMod 2.66 and 2.67. We'll start with BQMod 2.66 in the BQMod directory. Half replaces.php, you open that file, and you remove the asterisk here, or the comment. And then, right here, where it says admin123, you're going to replace that with the name of the new name you gave your admin directory. So in my case, I call my new admin directory, new admin. Mind you, you will see, see the admin directory there, but you cannot access your admin section of your website through that directory anymore. It has to be the new name that you gave your admin directory. So in my case, it is new admin, so I'm going to type new admin. I'm going to save that and close and I need to do the same thing for Ecomod 2.67 so half to place it at PHP and edit it you can edit it from your FTP program or you can open it from your Windows Explorer and use your favorite edit program like Notepad or Notepad++ or any other editor to edit the file. So here I'm doing it again. And so doing when I copy the 2.6.7 files over I won't have to do it and do this replacement again. So there it is. Remember put the name of the admin directory that you change it to, to right there and then save and close. Good. There we go. Not wanted to go apply that anyway. So here we go. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna upload the 2.6.6 open card document um, folder. Upload. So it has been uploaded. The reason why it asked me for a is I had uploaded earlier. That is why gave me that error. So 2.6.6 is there now. So what you need to do now to install VQMod is go to your URL. Don't mind what my URL is. I'm using a local host machine. My machine on my local computer. So you won't be seeing a web address. Here. Whatever your web address is, go to it. Whatever your website is. And you're going to type VQMod slash install and press enter. And here it says VQMod has been installed on your system. Simple as that. And it's as easy as that. VQMod has been installed. What well, this is version 2.6.6. To get version 2.6.7 now, we're gonna go back to our FTP program. Go to 2.6.7 and just upload the VQMod directory. Upload. The directory has been uploaded. Alright, you can compare the files. There we go. So the files have been updated. So your OpenCAD installation now has VQMod 2.6.7 OpenCAD. So after you have done that, you can just to ensure or to see that you actually have installed the human even though you are given that positive assurance when you do it on your website there are two places you can go to check so in your root directory where all your folders are on your website you go to the index.php and you're going to look at that file all right you're going to look at that file scroll down and as you see here it says virtual human and virtual human that started these two lines show that VQMod has indeed been installed 
on your serve or on your open fan installation. And we're going to go to the admin directory. Not your new admin directory, which is the one that you need to log into. If you're going to go to your back, you're going to go to the admin directory. It's still there. Go to that index file and view it also. And you should see uh, the same information about UK mod in your index file. So that's it. It's as simple as that. That is how you install BQ mod on your open cart installation or open cart 4. And you're good to go. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Um, thank you for listening and watching. And I hope that you will be able to add some very nice extensions, some VQ mod extensions enhance your website or to do whatever it is you want to do with your website otherwise so once again thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell